Students in France have joined university campus protests that are sweeping the globe. French police peacefully removed dozens of students from Sciences Po in Paris, who gathered in support of Palestine. Another protest near the Sorbonne University called for an end to Israel's offensive in Gaza. Police say they removed students from 23 sites across campuses in France, with all evacuated within a few hours. Riot police have also been involved to separate groups of pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli demonstrators. In Lausanne, students set up tents. On est ici pour demander la fin des collaborations universitaires et académiques en général avec l'État israélien et ses institutions. They are demanding the end to the university's ties to Israel. Protests continue in Georgia against the so-called Foreign Agents Bill. The proposed law would compel media and NGOs to register as foreign agents if receiving more than 20% of their funding from abroad. Critics say it could stifle opposition to the government and threaten Georgia's EU ambitions. Large demonstrations have gripped the country's capital, Tbilisi, for weeks. Turkish President Erdogan has suspended all of Turkey's trade with Israel until further notice. Tüm batı İsrail'e çalışıyor. Başta Amerika olmak üzere bunlar hep İsrail'e çalışıyorlar. Ve bu kadar imkanlar seferber edilerek ne yazık ki Filistin'in o garip kuraba, fakir, yoksul insanları İsrail'in bu bombaları karşısında ölüme mahkum edildiler ve bunun karşısında artık biz daha sabredemezdik ve adımlarımızı attık. Erdogan blamed Israel's military offensive in Gaza and said trade would resume under a ceasefire. Trade between Turkey and Israel amounts to 9.5 billion dollars a year. Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni's radical right Brothers of Italy party is leading the voting intentions in Italy for June's upcoming EU elections. While according to latest Euronews Superpol, the second political force is the centre-left's Democratic Party, followed by the Five Stars movement. Brothers of Italy is steadily positioned at 26.7% like in late March, but overall polling results show the centre and populist left has also been doing well. Support for the Partido Democratico and the Five Stars movement has grown slightly compared to polls in March. The League and Forza Italia are struggling slightly, holding just over 8% of voting intentions. Both parties are also part of the Italian Conservative and Nationalist bloc. The Populist Right League of Matteo Salvini is part of the Identity and Democracy group, while centre-right Forza Italia is part of the European People's Party group, led by Foreign Minister and former President of the EU Parliament Antonio Tajani. Giorgia Meloni will stand directly as a candidate in the EU elections for her party. She needs a high voter turnout to gain as many seats as possible in EU Parliament to be able to influence future coalition decisions. Meloni is part of the European Conservatives and Reformers Group and her goal is to create a great centre-right coalition between the European People's Party and the ECR Group in line with the wishes of outgoing EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. But before she plays the great European game, Meloni has two challenges in her own country. Country. The major one is her rival Matteo Salvini, a solid partner of Marine Le Pen at the European Parliament. The second challenge is the Italian left-wing surge. If the Democratic Party find common ground with their rivals, the Five Star Movement, the left and centre-left could create a solid partnership among a fractitious Italian political spectrum.